the last video with the spot healing brush, I went into a lot of detail, just kind of threw you right into the deep end. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and just go over it one more time with a simpler photo, kind of working backwards in this case. I'm gonna go to file and open and in folder 9.4, spot healing brush, I'm gonna open up this simplified image right here. And I'm gonna hit command J just do it automatically when I open. And I'll zoom in and you can see a couple of little marks on the legs right here. A few more marks right there. Now, this kid does not run around with a bunch of bruises on him. I just added them in there to show you how it works. Okay, I just took my burn tool just to show you. And just burned in a couple little spots like that. No big deal, he doesn't have bruises, okay? So what I wanna do is just touch up the legs. So again, with my spot healing brush, I'll hold control and option, go a little bit bigger here. And I focus one spot at a time. I wouldn't paint over this entire surface. I would do that mark right there, then that scratch right there, then this little bruise right there, then that little bruise, couple little dark spots on the legs like that, little, tiny areas okay, a little shadow right there uh, down here I'll take out that little mole take out this mark then this bigger mark that little spot and if it still leaves something behind okay go over it again it's no big deal take out a couple of scratches right there and just spot these areas out it's so simple that the whole idea again is there shouldn't be a bunch of marks all over your photos or blemishes. They're really easy to take out. So here's before and there's after. Really simple, seamless photo retouching. So again, I wanna get that point across that if you have those little marks, there's no excuse to leave them in your photos. They're very easy to get rid of, so start doing that. Now we can move on.